Hello, my name is Chris Mouflard and I'm a project engineer at Vigo Software. Welcome to the Schedule Planner Video Training Series Level 2. In this vignette, we're going to show you how to associate cost components with tasks. The aim of this vignette is to teach you about why and how cost plans and tasks can be linked and how we can do that in Vigo Office. It is assumed that you've created locations and started to create your task list. Before we can start to assign our cost assemblies to our tasks, we must ensure that they have been activated. An empty circle indicates that the cost assembly is deactivated. We can activate a cost assembly by selecting it and using the Activate Assembly key in the ribbon. Alternatively, we can right-click and select Activate Assembly. We can now left click in the box and drag and drop to the corresponding task in Task Manager. Note that we can now break down our task and highlight the activity and labor level of the subcomponent. In some instances, tasks may comprise of one or more cost assembly. It's as easy as selecting the correct cost assembly and assigning it to the corresponding task. Note that when we have finished assigning uh, cost assemblies to tasks that the summary level component has been rolled up. Let's assign our remaining cost assemblies to our tasks. If we make a mistake and assign the wrong cost assembly to the wrong task, we can simply break down the task hierarchy, select the cost assembly and use the unassigned selected key in the ribbon. This will assign it back to the cost planner and give us an opportunity to assign it to the correct task. We have now finished assigning our cost components to tasks. In this vignette, you have been shown how a cost plan and task list are linked, and you've been shown how to assign a component to a task.